Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 194. We get the Nasdaq up 48. S&P's up 18 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And don't forget, folks, every trading day, Basil does an outstanding show right here at TFNN, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also, is a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, this coming Tuesday night, Basil's going to be doing a webinar for his subscribers to the opening call. That is going to be from 5 to 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. It's very easy to be a subscriber to the opening call, folks. All you do, you go over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go under Featured Content. That's right at the very top. Uh, you'll see our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, right there. It's going to be talking about the, what he's going to be talking about in the webinar, which is on this, this Tuesday night. You hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month, six months, a year. One month is only $128. Six months is $595, which is a savings of $173. A year is $995, a savings of $541. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So as you're coming over here, check it out. Subscribe to one of them. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee. You get a great workshop you're going to be coming into. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, right now. What's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Yourself? Good, thank you. So we're going to be riding the wave, man. Let's we go. Are, Let's ride that got, wave. We've got the Dow within uh, an eye blink of the 28,000 level. And you had mentioned just a moment ago that we were going sideways for a little while, uh, for at least five, six sessions. And you can see that on the left side chart, this is the daily. And what I'm going to be teaching is how we can look at all different time frames. And I like to look at the time frame so that the short term, like a 120 minute chart, can give you an entry into a position. Then the daily chart takes over. Then if it works out well, actually, let me do this because this explains it very well. You, you remember in, back in April of 2018, we got into the, the, the dollar. Yes. And for the, for the technique that I'm always looking for, you want to identify a low bar. And I'll just go to this chart right here. Um, got it, I think. Right there. And you try to identify a low bar that is the most important low bar on the, on the left, going from the left to the right. And then once you identify that, you want to see a rally that goes to four higher peaks. And I alphabetize them A, B, C, D. Each one has a different letter. Can go to E, F, and G. But it's that fourth highest peak that other things can happen. And I'm really only looking for straight line moves uh, on the on, just on the side here you can see the dollar make this it's almost like a straight down move and then a star can find a base so you find a straight down move and that's where you want to look and if you you can get a mix of straight line and arch formation and a cup formation so make it simple straight line arch and cup and that's what i'm looking for and you can get the combination i call it the dreaded h because if that lowercase right side uh, h breaks the left side low, it can go lower, and you've got the reverse Y. If the on the upside, you take out the left side high, that can go higher. So I try to keep it as simple as possible. In, in human terms, of course, it's not always that easy to make it uh, like that. So you're looking at the dollar, and we went from the daily, I'll just move to the monthly chart here. We went from the dollar, and it started off, the low was 88.25. Interestingly enough, the dollar made that a peak D way back in um, January of 2018, in 103, it came tumbling down to 88. So we were lucky. We got in on the daily chart. It went to a D in the daily, and it kept on moving higher. That helped improve the weekly chart. Now we're looking at the weekly chart. So we've gone from short term to kind of intermediate term. Weekly chart's moving up. And finally, the, the monthly chart starts to improve. And this black line's the 14-period moving average. And the pink line's the nine period. And it starts to move above. When the, when the uh, pink line crosses the black, it goes to green, and that's a very positive aspect. And now we've got to D. And in this one picture, you can see D in the daily, D in the weekly, and we had a, 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 we're in a leg D right now in the month. We've only got the rest of the month to try to make a new high. Otherwise, this is going to be a consolidation phase for the dollar. So putting that together very quickly, just to show you what we've done in real, real life, we have, I think this will be a good demonstration. We have a stock that we currently own. It's called Biodelivery Sciences. I think I mentioned it the other day. There are a whole bunch of techniques. So using the ABCD, look, we went to a D. We're in a D. We're consolidating. We lucky we got in at $5.17. It ran to $6.45 on the way. We took a little, a little bit of profit. We're holding it here. 
and there's a pattern with a cup formation that it was what I call a cup and ladle. You know, in, in traditional terms, you talk about a cup and handle. I discovered years ago that if the price before it goes to D zooms right through the left side high, in this case, peak D on the left of April, uh, where it was at 537, you, I get a cup and ladle, meaning it should continue until it gets to a D, and then you've got to be a little bit careful. It's a very positive breakout. So that's what we've got. I'll teach how you can use this cup formation for that particular technique, how when the MACD crosses positive, you can use that. When the stochastic, and this is something that I've been talking about, and in fact, it's happened here in the Dow, the stochastic is flat in the daily at 95%. It's been there for for about two and a half, three weeks, even though there were a couple of technical points that say there should be some kind of topping action, that stochastic is 95% is really good. And all the books say over 90% is overbought. I say, no, 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 at 93, 94, 95%, that's great until it turns down. So um, in this particular case, we didn't get the pullback. We broke out here in the Dow. So that's the power of these particular uh, techniques. I always look, there's that cup formation we're looking at in the weekly chart. Um, he has the arch formation. So it's just a mix of the cup and the arch and straight line moves. And then we're using these moving averages. And all of this is uh, available on every software package. You can go and find the MACD and the and, stochastic. And you're going to be going for an hour and a half in the workshop, Basil, Correct. right? Correct. An hour and a half going through all these details, what's worked, what doesn't work, where you've got to be careful, where there's an alternate count, and you don't have to do anything until you get confirmation. It's just very comprehensive, as, as much as I can, with questions that I answer right away. People have been sending me questions beforehand, which I'll deal with there about the techniques. I'm very excited. It's a good time for this. It certainly is, man. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. And what happens, folks, is as cool as this. So, so picture, Basil's not only going to teach you, you know, the Chapman wave and what he uses, so that when you're looking at your newsletter every morning, you're going to understand exactly what you're looking at also. I follow it every day. I show the charts and I give, the, give a notation and as much explanation as I can in a brief, brief moment. And my Traders Corner gives, if you don't have time, in the one paragraph at the top where I have all the positions or what we're looking at, um, I give a synopsis in one paragraph of what I'm expecting for the day. Folks, it's really easy to come into. Come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see on the featured content. I'm uh, Mr. Basil Chapman, the opening call. You can just hit subscribe. You can get it for a month. If you get it for six months, you save $173. If you get it for a year, you're going to save $541. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So bottom line, you can pick any one of those, folks. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee. You're going to come into a great workshop. What Basil and I hadn't mentioned yet is that he has other workshops that are already archived. You know, just can you just go over a couple of these quick, Basil, because we I know... Once they, they sign on, like they sign on now, they basically get these archives tomorrow they, morning. They have all the time to review those webinars. There's one called the Tide, some of the techniques, some of the moving averages that I use to look at the larger Tide. You can see this monthly chart, the green line. That's the nine period moving average, still moving up. So I'm talking about the Tide. I'm talking about what to expect. And I will be giving stocks that we're looking at for the next three to four months. So it's there we go. exciting. Let's ride that wave, baby. Basil, you have Thank a you, great Tom. weekend, safe weekend. Of course, we look for a show next week. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.